Hey, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. You guys are asking us many questions in the comments, so I decided to create a separate video to answer the most common questions which you are guys uh, asking us in the comments. Most of them are related to our environment, working environment, to the Visual Studio Code. Uh, so that's what we're going to cover in this video. I just wanted to remind you that there is also a separate video uh, for top 10 VS Code extensions. Link to this video I'm going to find in the description down below. And now, without further ado, Let's get started. Okay, so one of the most common question I've got is how to make uh, your Visual Studio code looks like mine. Um, and the answer is quite simple. You need to install a team. Uh, so we'll simply go to extensions. So click on this icon or just go to, uh, or ju just use the shortcut key for this one, which is uh, control plus shift plus X, and then search for the obviously material team. We couldn't be using anything different than material team, obviously. Uh, so we can install it. You can also install material team icons pack. So that's gonna mm, change the way your icons um, uh, looking. Mm, so this is uh, regarding team. The next question uh, you are asking quite often is what um, this, whenever I'm typing something like this, um, what it does. So this is obviously Emmet for those who doesn't know. This is also extension. It comes uh, with Visual Studio Code. It's pre-installed. So this is this is very, very handy uh, tool because it um, simplifies uh, writing HTML code. So instead of just, you know, creating all these tags by yourself, you just do something like this and then you press tab. You can specify uh, like cardinality. So we want to have three. And uh, when you start typing, you press tap and then you go directly to the next line. And uh, so it's, it's really, really handy. I strongly encourage you to get familiar with this. Um, the next question I've got is something I do uh, quite often is if I'm working with the multiple um, lines, which are pretty similar or the same. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm doing this called multi cursor trick. So what I can do, I can just have cursor active in multiple places and I can work on both of them, right? So I can just do it like this. This is very handy um, when it comes to updating pretty similar data. So let's say I want to replace this, uh, I don't know, um, this page with something like HTTPS, uh, whatever dot com. So this is called multi cursor. It's very, very handy, very useful. You can also use it in uh, if you want to type, if you want to change, if you want to update. Um, also, I use it quite often if I want to replace multiple spaces. So there are a lot of uh, use cases when you want to use it. You can obviously also do uh, things like this. So we can also combine this with Emmet. So if I do, uh, I don't know, let's say here. Uh, or here and here I can just do enter and then do something like um, I don't know, some class uh, some some div with the class and then all the list and then uh, this item and this is happening in multiple places at the same time right so so this works really really like a charm uh, by the way I showed you um, how to replace this one with the multi cursor, but there is obviously easier way. Uh, well, you could use search and replace option for this one, but let's say you don't want to, if I do MD bootstrap, uh, I would find like 7,000 occurrence. And so I need to specify in which file and so on. If I want to replace just this two, uh, what I can do, you can just select whatever you want to change this MD bootstrap here. And then if you go to selection, and you're gonna find something like add next occurrence. I actually use this control D shortcut. So you can select any kind of text. Here, by the way, you can see that it's also, also showing you duplicates. And then if I press control D, I have both of them selected. So if I want to change to mypage.com, I will be updating both of them. Oh, actually, I don't need my.com, just mypage.com. And um, if I keep pressing Control D, I will be deselecting next one, next, 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 and the next occurrence. So uh, you can easily mm, change and adjust um, multiple things at the same time. Uh, okay, 
now the next thing you've been asking in the question is how to how to uh, get the command line uh, so it's inbuilt again i'm using this uh, control plus backtick shortcut uh, but you can also click over here and this will open you uh, this window with problems and you can switch to terminal this is really awesome because you can use uh, your uh, git over here by the way talking about git i'm using this git lenses uh, git lens actually um, extension which shows me which line was changed by who when so i can easily track it i can check uh, the entire commit and so on and so on so i really recommend this one but coming back to the command line this is also very useful when it works with you know um uh, for example npm or if you want to publish project with mdb you can do mdb login and then log in with your username and password and yeah and then simply type mdb publish and this works uh, like a charm you don't need to uh, switch to any other window everything works um, perfectly fine with a visual uh, studio uh, code um, now the next uh, and actually the last comment i've got for you today for this uh, quick list of the tips um, is a split view so uh, uh, if I work with the multiple files which uh, are similar and I need to let's say update both of them and I want to make sure that I don't screw anything I can just drag and drop as you can see this reddish area so I can I can use it uh, to uh, manage uh, uh, my win windows layout so if I do it like this I'm gonna get the split window so here I can work on both files and compare like side by side so this is also very handy and i use it very very often okay this is the quick list of uh, um or the questions which you are uh, asking um, most often um i'm also thinking about doing a kind of q a session uh, so uh, please feel free if you have any questions uh, to post them mm, below this video uh, and uh, we will organize uh, a Q&A session for you. Um, so please don't hesitate to ask us anything regarding uh, either tutorials, company framework whatsoever. We will be happy to answer all of questions. Um, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Um, I will be also working on the new updated version of the video for the extensions for the Visual Studio Code. As I mentioned, uh, there's already one on our channel. I strongly encourage you to, uh, to go through it because there are like 10 extensions which you should have. And as you can see, I have uh, a little bit more now. So I will be doing the update on this one as well um, quite soon. Mm, so if you don't want to miss this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and keep coding.